With Mario Kart 8 being out for 8 years, yes, 8 years, we finally got DLC to complement Mario Kart 8. Now this includes the custom items from Wave 3 and 6 new cups of tracks. With 6 cups of 24 tracks, including Wave 1's tracks from the Golden Dash Cup and the Lucky Hat Cup, Wave 2's tracks including the Turnip Cup and Propeller Cup, and Wave 3 tracks including the Rock Cup and the Moon Cup. Well, now that we've gone over everything, there's only one more thing to do. Let's get these tracks right, baby. Woo! Coming in last place is the only SNES remake in the DLC. And let me just say, this track is boring and awful looking, which is why it's last place. Next up is Toad Circuit, uh, another circuit track, but this time from the 3DS. Not much to say here besides the fact that it's a very boring and short track. I don't know why they added this one here. Next up we got Tokyo Blur. Uh, I will say, the worst Mario Kart Tour track added to this game. I don't know what the theme was for Tokyo of all places for this track, but it's definitely not Tokyo. It's a born, it's a short track, and also pretty ugly looking. Back to back tour tracks, wow, what a surprise. This time we got New York Minute. Once again, I don't know what the theme was for New York, but they made this very bland and very boring. The only thing about this is that they actually made it look a little bit like New York. Now, don't let the ice cream confuse you on this track. This track is not a great track, and let me tell you why. It's a loop. It's a it's a, it's a literal loop. It's a loop you'll see in any NASCAR track ever. The only reason why this is in last place is because of the ice cream. The ice cream saves it. Now, number 19 is going to go to Paris Promenade. This track gets a bit of a pass for doing the backwards thing as the first track ever, but that doesn't make it a great track. The backwards part is cool, but overall, it's a boring track that's from the tour, with the only cool part being flying over the Eiffel Tower. Now, having a banger song like this does make a track go a bit higher. However, this track, in my opinion, is the most confusing track. This is the only track I felt like I got confused where I was going around London. And I don't feel the London vibes to it. Now some people might be surprised I put Rock Rock Mountain so low, but as much as I like going up the hill part, I like gliding onto the pipe, I'm not really a big fan of gliding for so long on this map. Great music, but too much gliding in my opinion. Now, Merry Mountain might sound like a nice, fun, jolly old track, but in my opinion, this is just a okay track. My biggest problem with this track is gotta be going down the hill. Like, they just didn't add any boost pad to it anymore. I do like the half pipe, I do like the railroad, but there was not much exciting stuff otherwise. Now, coming at number 15 is definitely going to be Choco Mountain. There's a lot of ups and there's a lot of downs with this track. The ups, I would absolutely give the cave. The cave is absolutely amazing. However, I don't like the fact that you can't fall off the track anymore. There's one part that they added on the DS and N64 that you could fall off, and now it's just the gliding part. Now, I really like the GBA remakes on Mario Kart I love what they're doing and I especially like Boo Lake. The way they made this crappy course into a pretty decent in the middle course with the underwater part and the ramps is amazing. Another banger song for Berlin Byways. Now this one I prefer more than London Loop because I feel like there's a bit more to it. I like the thwomps. I like the womps that come down the Berlin Wall. That's by far my favorite part of this track. 
Uh, there is some road parts though I'm not a big fan of, which is why it's in the middle. Now Shroom Ridge is only slightly above Berlin Byways. Now yes, there's sharp turns, but by far has one of the coolest shortcuts in this DLC. I don't know who made it, but it's an amazing shortcut. The cars also add a feature to it and as well as the sharp turns. The music in this is absolutely amazing. The mushrooms and leaves are interesting feature and the clouds are cool. But question, why is this not the original track layout? I can't fathom to understand why this isn't the original layout. Which is why it's going to go a bit lower than I would normally put Sky Garden. Sky Garden's mess is so messy that I put Snowland above it. Yes, the track that had the shaky feature on it in the original version. The remake got a better version. Why? The beautiful layout, the shortcuts, everything. But overall, it is still a basic track. Now, if you don't know, I'm not really a big fan of the Mario Kart Tour tracks. Sydney Sprint gets an exception. This track, they did a really good job with. In fact, I would even put it up there with some of the really good tracks. The way they made Sydney in this track was beautiful, even without the bad guide features. Now, I did kind of find it weird that Mushroom Gorge didn't get a remake song of this, but it's kind of alright because this track is a very good track. I love the way within the Mushroom Cave they added the Wii feature as well as the 3DS feature and they returned the Mushroom Shortcut as well as the leap at the end of the track. Now I hate the remake of the 3DS and of Calamari Desert because you kind of don't interact with the train. This track decides on lap 2 into lap 3 that you get the ride on the railroad to change the map up. Now there's a lot of pluses and minuses on this track I really like. The pluses being the music remake, I love the last lap where you get to go backwards. However, I don't like how in between the turns there isn't those awkward turns anymore. But overall, it is still Peach Gardens and it is an amazing track. Now I know you're thinking, why is this track so high? The remake isn't great. Well, I know, yes, the escalators aren't great and the cars do move, but they don't move how they originally did. Firstly, I don't mind the cars how they move now as long as they move. And secondly, it is still Coconut Mall and the remake has some beautiful features to it. Now, normally on the original version, I did actually prefer Coconut Mall with my favorite track on the Wii. But the remake on Maple Treeway honestly is the better remake. I like this version. The half pipe is sick. The tree turn is nice. The only issue I have with this track is the bridge. They kind of got rid of the ropey bridge, but everything else is still here and it includes the Mario Kart 8 graphics. Yes, somehow Waluigi Pimple did not make number one. And here's why. Firstly, I would have to say the music. I don't like the remake of the song. It's not a great remake of the song. And yes, I will say the graphics are beautiful. It doesn't show off to, compared to the other two tracks I have on my list. That doesn't make Waluigi Pinball a bad track. It just doesn't feel as special as the original. I don't know who on the Mario Kart Tour team decided to make such a cool track. Whoever did, they made a great decision to put this on the game because this is absolutely an amazing track. Firstly, you got the shy guys. You got the multiple paths you can pick. You got the sick music there's just so much cool in this track overall the only issue i'll give is how confusing it can be sometimes now i know some of the really good tracks on this dlc have just kind of been disappointing and not the most exciting rainbow road definitely is not one of those tracks this remake is absolutely beautiful come with the beautiful rainbow the music Everything about this track they did so well, and honestly, it deserves number one by a mile.